Hey everyone, my name is Pritom and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 35 video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood or rather we have completed the series of the CMDB or the configuration management database. And in the last video, we have understood like how CMDB is important in the ITSM, right? The IT service management, right? And we have seen how we can use this in the, in the different ITSM module. And I've shown you in practically also. And then we have seen that what are the tools that we have we can use to populate data inside of the CMDB, right? Like the ServiceNow Discovery is one of the famous one. So we have discussed all those things in the in, in my last video. So if you missed that video, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description. And also you can find the link here on your screen, right? So let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. All right. So today we will see what is Service Portal and how it works. And I think it is very important to understand about Service Portal and not only Service Portal, what are the different portals available in ServiceNow. I think in the recent Tokyo edition, they have added few portal that I would discuss uh, later in my demo session. So it is very important to understand Service Portal. Service Portal is one of the famous one and why it is important and how you can develop one Service Portal. What are the things available? What are the menus? What are the modules? Everything we are going to discuss in this video. So make sure to watch the full video guys to understand and clear your concept on service portal and this would be only single video so there won't be any part of it okay so i'll try to cover all of the important thing about the service portal so let's go to my service now portal so we are going to cover service portal inside of service now all right so i'm in my personal developer instance guys so before i show you the service portal application and different modules let let's understand what service portal is actually and why it is so important so service portal is a portal right it's a service portal where you user can request for different services user can request for different request raise an incident user behalf of that behalf of themselves and do other things like user can order an iphone like i've shown you right with the help of the service portal now hold on a second you say pritam you have shown us the service i mean uh, the ordering iphone thing with the help of the service catalog right so if i click on all this is a section we have called service catalog this is the thing right and if i click on that and I've shown you in the video of service catalog itself, like how people or user can order it from here, right? Now service portal is better than service catalog. I'll show you why. So now service portal will give you the exact feeling of the, you are in the Amazon and you are ordering something and not only ordering, it's the centralized location service portal where you can request for a knowledge article, where you can check a knowledge article, sorry, and where you can also see what are your current status of your request, right? Uh, current status of your incident. Everything you can track inside of the service portal. I'll show you how it is working. Now, you can understand there are a lot of things that you can do in service portal, which in service catalog is not possible. Like you cannot check the status of your request inside of a service catalog. You need to go to your portal right and also with the help of the service portal i mean you can access service portal from your mobile so i think in the introduction class of service now i've told you right service now has also their mobile application so that i will discuss later but with the help of the service now mobile application you can access the service portal and you can make different kind of requests right so it is getting popular over the mobile right now let me show you this service portal so if I search for service portal, you'd be able to see there are a lot of uh, different things are available. So portal, you can see this is a service portal application and we have service portal home. This is the service portal home page that would open. So I'm going to click on that. It would open in a new tab. Now you can see this is the service portal. Now this is a demo instance again. This is not looks like that good, but let me tell you service portal in, in your organization, if you go for your service portal in your particular client or your organization service portal, so you'd, you'd be able to see more options, more, you know, more uh, kind of a looks why look wise, it would be more good, right? More attractive things like that. So now it's a demo instance. Now you can create your own service portal and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so make sure again to watch the full video. Now, if I scroll down, there is a huge search bar here available. And here I would be able to see all the requests that is under my name, right? And also system status, anything in my cart or things like that. So I can simply go to request something. Now, this is again, this is the service portal that we are discussing today. 
Now here I would choose what I want to do. For an example, iPhone 14, right? This is the catalog, right? We know. So I can click on that and I can order inside of the service portal. So if I click on submit, let's just order the iPhone. So I can see one request number that is generated behalf of me. Now, anytime I can come here. Now, if I click on request, that should show me the request that I have done. See iPhone 14. This is the request I have done. And this is currently in the open status. So if I open this one, this request tab, and I can see this is the all details of my request. So see, this is the request number. So if I click on the item here, that was the request. This is the request item. Now from here, see the good thing here. Now this has been logged, right? This is request for system administrator. And it is it has been assigned to some team. This is the RITM number. You already know RITM, RIQ, all these things has already been explained in my previous video. Now from here, suppose I want to deliver the iPhone very quickly, like you do in Flipkart on Amazon, right? If you, if you want a quick delivery, you can call the service test, right? Or you can uh, ask them in the chat support. So I can directly write inside of the ticket, right? For an example, uh, I need this iPhone to be delivered delivered ASAP okay done and then just click on post this comment will be updated automatically updated inside of this ticket so this is the user view what I'm showing the service portal this is basically for all the users for the end users who can request who can ask for any if, if there is there they are having any problem they can they can raise an incident I can also attach some error or anything if I want, right? Now, if I open this RITM in the normal service now view, so if I go back here, because I am the system administrator, I can do that. See, the exact match is the iPhone 14. So this is the service view. This, this is the view that's the agent or the team who are going to work on this ticket, they would be able to see. Now, if I scroll down, you see, I need this phone, iPhone to be delivered as soon as possible. This is updated in the additional command. And you know additional comment means something that is sent by the user right so this is the message user has sent so the delivery team would get a notification for that so you understand how important it is also i can raise an incident so for an example suppose uh, i'm the user system administrator okay so i having i'm having issue inside of my uh maybe in my laptop my outlook is not working for an example now in the generally now again it's a demo instance so i cannot uh, so that's why I'm not able to see the option of creating incident. So I can search it here. Let's see, create incident. That's what we need to do because something is not working. Then we need to create an incident. See, create incident. This is the record producer. We discuss about the record producer, right? So this is the record producer. So let's choose some urgency. Again, it's a demo instance. So my outlook is not working. Sorry, outlook is not working. That's it. I'm going to click on submit. And I will get the incident number. I'll show you. This is the incident number. Again, this is a page where I can type message. This is the user view. So if I go here and try to open the incident. See, this is the incident right now it is showing. Okay. So you can see this is the this is one view. This is the service portal view, right? From where user can check, user can add any comment. User should not have access in this field, this area, because this is only for the people who are going to work on the ticket. So remember this portal page, this service now portal, service portal, this page is for the user who can request something or who can raise an incident and also check what are the status of the request and incident. So it is, if I click on request again, just to show you, it will show both request and incident in a same place under my request. Now let's go back. One of the another important thing is the knowledge base. So if I click on knowledge base, now here user can search any knowledge article. Now knowledge article we would discuss in the next video. What is knowledge article and how knowledge article works. So from here, just for the time being, I will show you again in the next video this view. So you can check about the articles from here, right? So this is the service portal. Now let's go back and here. This is the service portal configuration we have. Okay. Now in the configuration tab, we can do edit of this, uh, of the service portal, right? We can edit this service portal. So before I show you these options, 
let me go back here and let me show you other things which is there so there is a module called portal now here i was discussing in service now there are different portal available you can see this is the green one this is the service portal that is we are working this is the service portal this this portal is the service portal now there is a knowledge portal also let me open it in a new tab also we have the employee center service workspace portal we would understand about the workspace portal in the upcoming videos but let me open this knowledge portal right so knowledge portal where you would be able to see only knowledge things so click on try now also if i go here you can see this is the url suffix so after the service now url.com if i type kb this knowledge portal should open up so let's cross this and let's try with that because the url suffix is kb so if i go here i'll tap the url sp it should open the service portal sorry i, I was supposed to add kb this is the sp so it will open the service portal you see if i type sp sp stands for service portal and kb stands for knowledge portal so let's type kb this time so it should open the knowledge portal again we would discuss about the knowledge article uh, into in the next video so i would explain you what are knowledge articles and how even how service portal is helping in a better experience now that is okay we have different portal we understand employee center is also very important uh, i have a plan to discuss with it later okay now we have the this is the portal configuration now how you can edit different things for an example you can see we have a designer page editor widget editor new portal also we have the help section branding editor so let's open these things quickly and let me show you branding editor where you can change the logo you can change different things for an example you can see right now this portal this is the service portal that is open right this is showing you right now this is the service portal view so you are trying to edit the branding of this service portal not the knowledge portal if i scroll down here you could see other portal will be available like knowledge portal if i want to edit anything in the knowledge portal i need to choose knowledge portal right we have also employee center we can edit different portal now we are being working like an administrator right so here it is written as service portal so i can change the name like take with pre let's do that i can also upload the image so let's upload the image uh that's fine let's see how it looks like okay okay so this is a logo image i'm sorry and this looks not good uh let's try to upload another image this looks better this should looks better uh, however it is pretty <laughs> small you could see now what i'm trying to show you you see now you would be able to do it by your own like you can put your own logo your own title right that's how you can do then we have if i click on right this is a quick setup if i go here you have also the logo padding you can see you can do the logo padding from here and it would be updated to left top let's see how it looks like i'm very bad at it but i'm showing all these areas which you can where you can work right you can see very bad it is looking so where you can work and you can change these things and create your own things in advanced class of service now i would definitely show you all of these features but for for the time being for the administrator exam you don't need it now for the theme color you can choose color okay right now it is this so you can change it different color from here and you can also see what are the result here right so now this is a branding this is all about branding where you can change the name logo and stuff like that now if i go back here we have a designer tab now this is one of the important one here you would be able to design the portal in many different ways now this is the page designer where we have lot of different things which are available in the page right so we have the catalog options catalog home catalog item we have we have also all notification section we have the announcement now announcement is something which you can mention and so for an example like uh, yeah this is how the announcement will looks like so announcement we have also announcement in here if i go a bottom yeah announcement now here you can make some announcement like for an example in your company or in a project uh, there is a p1 going on or the service portal is down for a long time so that you can mention here okay you can create your notification or announcements so let's go back to the service portal designer now here you can configure it right so let's go here 
now from here again you can choose different option to configure how it looks like for an example like the catalog home you can see how it looks like you can do and changes from here now this is something i need to cover in a different section altogether because there are so many things in the service catalog development if i talk about we will need script and we will need other important things we need to understand these parts right so for the examination purpose and from the understanding of service now basics you don't need to understand this as of now so when we will start the advanced section of service now the service now developer one then i will show you i would create page and also i will show you all this option available here by working with it right now i'm saying all these things are they are too important let's go to the page editor where you can create a page and widgets which are very very important so we have the page editor you can see select a page above to view the map of hierarchical structure uh, of any page so i can select any page from for an example like these are the page for an example approvals page so this is how approval phase is look looks like and these are the this is the hierarchical structure by following which we need to create when we will create right and we would do that we have the widget so there are different widget available that we can add in the form and then we need to uh, you know then we need to configure it for an example you can see check out hello world example widget this is a widget it is showing you can see this is the HTML template. So if you work with HTML, you know this language, uh, div like input type, right? This is a client script and this is some server script area, but there is no server script, right? So this is how simply a message can be displayed inside of service portal, inside of that widget that we are trying to create. And that is the default widget area. Okay, don't worry, we would explain all of these things and we will work practically and create a service portal and our new tech with pre portal in the advanced video, right? So this is all about all the options of service portal. I hope you understand the importance of service portal, why this uh, is important, what are the things you can do inside of the service portal. Now you hope in the future, now you can see from here also I can update the logo. This is the tech with pre also all the CSS variables, right? So you understand in the service portal, we get more better user experience and user would be able to see all their request and incident they have logged, how, what is their progress, how it is working. And also the knowledge article, they would be able to see more about knowledge article we would see in the next video. So this is it for service portal guys. I hope now you have an experience, have an idea of how service portal is working. So do practices, try to change some branding things and try to create an incident and check in the service portal how it looks like okay so this is it for today guys if you find the video helpful hit the like button if you have any doubt come to the comment section and don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video bye bye take care